Hi everybody, I'm Sarun Singla, one of the cloud consultants here at Google Cloud. Uh, I'm really excited to share Cloud Spanner with you today. In today's video, we will be talking about implementing a games leaderboard using Cloud Spanner. We will be looking at how Spanner is adopted in the gaming vertical and how to create and run leaderboard application using Spanner as a backend. I will link the code lab in the video description below. So in the video, we will be covering about Cloud Spanner in gaming and creating and running a leaderboard. So moving on, so what is Cloud Spanner and where is it used? So Spanner is a globally consistent relational database uh, popular with game developers. Companies increasingly rely on a games backend as a service tier that allows them to unify the player experience across gaming platforms. Spanner with its high uptime, unlimited scalability, transactional support and elasticity and industry leading five nines of SLA can quickly respond to unprecedented uh, changes in the workload and can help scale back and better. Let's move on with the lab. I already have a test project created here. Once we have this created, let's go ahead and create a spanner instance. So over here, scroll down to spanner and create a provision instance, uh, give an instance name as cloud spanner a leaderboard, choose regional and then under regions, uh, you could select any, but uh, I would probably stick with the US Central one, you could select any processing unit or nodes. So one processing, uh, so thousand processing units is equal to one node. So we'll select thousand processing unit, click on create. This will take, I think a couple of seconds to create. Yeah, so I think it's already created. Yes, so once this is created, then we will go ahead and uh, go to the terminal. So you can open a cloud shell here. Uh, let me increase the size of the window so that we could see what's going on. So. Uh, over here, we would uh, do a git clone of the repo that is already tagged in the description below. Now that we have the code uh, repo cloned, we would go to uh, the Java docs folder on uh, where spanner leaderboard. In here, we would create a code lab folder and cd into the folder. So you would see that we are under the code lab folder now. So now uh, moving on, now let's create a, Java, a basic Java application. Uh, named leaderboard by running maven build. So we would be running the following command here. So this does nothing but actually creates a maven, uh, it, but it creates a Java application called leaderboard. So this would take a couple of seconds. Yeah. Now in the essence of time, I already went ahead and added a uh, spanner Java boundaries to pom.xml. Uh, so over here, if you see I the pom.xml, you can now see that there is code uh, for uh, uh, cloud spanner. So this will actually help us building the Java application. I also took the liberty and went ahead and added some custom code into the apps.java file, which is the main file that has code for creating uh, players and scores table. And also there is code for inserting data into those tables along with uh, having some custom queries for running leaderboard. So let's go ahead to that folder structure and see uh, where exactly uh, or how exactly the code looks like. So we would go here, source, main, Java, com, Google code lab. Uh, the file name is app.java. So if you see here, um, let me scroll down and you can then see that we do have a code here for creating players and scores table. Then we also have some custom code for inserting data over here into the players and scores table. And then similarly, if you go down, we have some uh, custom code for looking at uh, the leaderboard. For example, if you go down further, you could now see that we are, so this is all the code for inserting data. So if you go down here, we have queries. So for example, these are the queries. Uh, which would be selecting player ID, player names, code, timestamp. And then we could obviously run it uh, with the uh, the last week, within the last one month or a year. And I'll, I'll show you as we move forward. So moving on. So now let's do a Maven build of the package so that we could run the application. So over here, after we added pom.xml, make sure that you are in the folder which too has pom.xml file. Yes, so now we would do Maven package. So this would take a couple of uh, seconds or I think a minute or so, and then you would be able to see the new package generated. And then once this is done, we would see how exactly the leaderboard app looks like. Okay, so over here we are almost done, yes. 
So now we would run Java jar target leaderboard dot jar. So now you can see all the options here. So for example, you can have an option for creating instance, uh, the player table, scores table, inserting data. And so now let's go ahead and create a leaderboard in here database. Uh, so, so this should take a few seconds and it should return successful, which means we would be then good to go with the leaderboard uh, database. Yes. Now that we have successfully created the database and players and scores table, we would go ahead and add data to players and scores table. So we would go ahead and run the command here on the screen. And then similarly, I would also run it for the scores table. So this would take a few minutes probably. So the players is done. Now we would be running the same for the scores table. And once this is done, we would then go ahead and start looking at the leaderboard. Now let's go ahead and start looking at how the leaderboard would look like. So for example, if I was to look at the top 10 uh, players of the year, so I would do something like this and I would pass in 8760, which is the number of hours in a year. So if you hit enter, you would see the top players for the year. So over here, you can see the player ID, player name, the score and the timestamp. So similarly, if I was to look at the top 10 players of the month, I would do it uh, like this where 730 is the number of hours in a month. And then similarly, I would do same to see the number of players, top 10 players of the week. So for that, I'll do 168. So you will now see the number of top, uh, the top 10 players of a week. So we just successfully created a leaderboard application with Spanner as a backend. Please try the hands-on lab in the description below. You can learn more about Spanner on the tagged link in the video description. Thank you.